welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing a review on this package that I just got in the mail. Let's see what's inside. So we're going to take my scissors over here and cut this open real quick. Hope it's something nice. It's probably an AliExpress package, which is really always a good thing. So let's get to opening this. I think this is two figures, in fact. In fact, it is two figures. Should I do this review separately or should I just do it in one? Just gonna do it in one. First, let's start with the smaller one and the one I don't have to put together. We'll get to you later. You see how many parts there are in this. I'm doing that later. Let's do this one, which is already in one piece. It's a Smilodon. It's a little Smilodon from. It's like a bootleg Lego Smilodon, which is really good. It's really cheap. Honestly, I slightly regret not getting the Mammoth too, but the Mammoth is like a few dollars, which is not too bad. This was like 10 cents. But the Smilodon's a pretty good figure. Has an articulated back and an articul... Actually, that's about it. And it has an articulated neck. First, let's take a look at the stripes and paint job. That's a pretty simple paint job. It actually looks basically identical to the actual figure. I do not have it, but I've seen it. And it looks pretty much identical. And sabers are um painted. The teeth has some good eye work on it. Pretty good figure. Next, let's do the other figure that came in this package. This Dimetrodon scares me right now. Let's get to opening. One thing I have to do is say about this Dimetrodon before I open it is there is also a blue variant that you can buy. But... I think it's just the pictures. They probably both look exactly the same, just different um, paints. But for some reason, in the pictures, the head look different. So I just got this one. It looked kind of elongated and weird. But this is actually, so it says it's um Lego. It's not actually a bootleg Lego. It's actually a bootleg Playmobil Dimetrodon, which everyone hates the Playmobil movie. Most people hate Playmobil, but I like Playmobil. It's pretty good. So, actually, this one's finally a good one, because if you see my other two reviews, all those other ones were nightmares to put together and take apart and fix them. This one's easy so far. I probably shouldn't jinx myself by saying that, but let me see. The two hind legs, they go on pretty easily. Okay, then front leg and another front leg. Yeah, we could go in. Okay. Here's the Dimetrodon, which the Dimetrodon has much more articulation than the Smilodon. The legs move forwards and backwards, both the hind ones and the front ones. And then the mouth opens and closes. And one thing I realized when I was putting this together, I accidentally touched it. The sail is made out of rubber, which this really feels real. Like, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if these were the real Playmobil ones, which I've never seen before. Or, like, these are really good made quality. Honestly, this would fool me. Being the real figure. I'm pretty sure it might be. I'm being convinced. It was very cheap, so I don't think it is actually the real figure. But here's the Dimetrodon. It has a wonderful paint job. It has so much detail on the sail and down the back. It has a nice little simple black eye and some pretty good white and big teeth. Mouth. Inside of the mouth has been painted, but honestly, with the rest of the paint on this, it's worth it. This is better than most Mattel figures. It has, like, the end, like, Mattel figures, but at least it has a nice design on it. Mattel figures, usually, they kind of just cheap out, especially the newer ones these days. But let's start reviews. First, we're going to um actually do a size comparison out of the both of these two figures. First, Carnotaurus. I got this from AliExpress. I have not done a review on it. This is the size. Next is another one I unpacked a while ago. The Plesiosaur figure, which you can't see, so I'm going to move all these back. The Plesiosaur figure, that's the Plesiosaur figure, pretty good size, about the same size as the Dimetrodon. Next, we have the Mosasaur, which is one I just unboxed and got today also. About the same size as the Dimetrodon, also the Smilodon, very tiny. Next, we have the Blue, which is about the same size as the Dimetrodon also, but there's also this little Dilophosaur, which is about the same size as the Sabertooth Tiger. Sabertooth Tiger, I believe, was only re released in one set. I don't know this set, but it's like this Ice Age Exploring set. But that's about it for the Smilodon. But it is really small. Like, to show you how small it is, I will show it compared to a Mattel human. It is absolutely tiny. The Dimetrodon, it's pretty good. 
And I'm a tell human. One thing I have been forgetting to size it up against is Dr. Henry Wu. And this is how big it is compared to the Smilodon. Looks about right, but Dimetrodon is huge. Dimetrodon and like the raptors are just huge. Like, why are they this big? I think the humans are just too small in this line. The Smilodon is really small. The Dimetrodon is huge. Honestly, I wish they made a bootleg of this Smilodon that was absolutely huge. Like they did the Pyro Raptor that um that Lego made. They made a bigger version. And I think this is not even Lego. If you look at the feet, it has no Lego studs on the stomach, feet. On its back, of course. Also, Lego Mega Dimetrodon. This is a pretty good design for a Dimetrodon, though. It's Playmobil. It's a very nice Dimetrodon. This is their Smilodon. You can put him on his back like that. Now he's a rich Texas millionaire. We got this Tanistrophius from Mattel and the Dimetrodon from Mattel. Now seeing this Dimetrodon, I realize that this Dimetrodon is not that big. But here's the Dimetrodon. Pretty good. And the Tanistrophy is also huge. Next one I would like to um, size it up against. Okay, took a while, but I found the, this mammoth figure I own. I'm going to move this um, um, Dimetrodon out for a second. Dimetrodon compared to it, about this big. Okay, before we go, I would like to um, compare these guys to two more figures. Which, I know what line these are, I just can't remember them off the top of my head right now. But there's a Macrokenia figure. And a Megatherium figure, which are pretty good sized up. Like, I imagine this would be right for a Smilodon or the Macrokenia. And about, not really good for the um, giant ground sloth, but I guess he could be Sid. Well, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. This was kind of a quick review, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hello there. I'd like to let you guys know that, well, let's just let me show you. We've got merch. So, please buy some merch.